de cette entreprise. Rémi Bouchard en compagnie de Mike Bender, un des euh, meilleurs coachs euh, enseignants aux États-Unis. Mike, you've been teaching for a while. You've been teaching uh, high-level players and beginners. Um, tell me what you can, uh, how you can relate what the top players do to the, the regular golfer, if you will. Well, I, I think what makes them, what makes the good players good, is they kind of have a system for how they go about playing the game. And, and they and then they kind of stay within that. Like for instance, you know, I work with Zach Johnson and he moves the ball right to left and he pretty much sticks to that shot most of the time and he's always he's always planning his game around that 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 curve or movement of the ball. And I think a lot of amateurs just try to hit it straight and they hope they can hit it straight and if it goes right or left, they hope it doesn't go that far, you know, out of bounds or somewhere. So So it's, it's good to try to work in a direction towards getting some consistency with the shape of your shot. I think the key you said, I think, is consistency. Teaching a, a guy like Zach Johnson, who's not uh, an extremely long hitter. Right. Uh, I think most people that we see that come and take lessons and say, I want to hit it longer. Um, can you expand on that, on how you can get people to get that mind frame? Well, I think the thing is, is that And all the stats prove that being straight and getting hitting balls out of that fairway are going to lead to lower scores. And it's always fun to hit it longer. Everybody, I, even Zach, wants to hit it longer. But you kind of got to take what what you have. And the great part about golf is that you can score a lot of different ways. So, you know, he makes it up with his short game and his wedge play. And if you get if you're really good at wedges and you're kind of an average length player, he's proven that you can compete at the highest level. And uh, here at the show, uh, you're um, uh, you're uh, endorsing some teaching aids that right. that help uh, golfers. What would you say is the most the the, the biggest uh, flaw you see on most golfers in their swing? Well, I think the thing is, is nobody has a perfect swing, and we can all get better. And and the the hardest requirement to golf is having a consistent swing. So it's really worth working on. And and so anytime. A student, uh, uh, somebody wants to get better and they're going to work on their swing. The hardest thing is we're battling feel, what we feel we're doing and what we're really doing. So by having a training aid or something that produces feedback for you and gives you that feedback to let you know whether or not you're doing the movement right is critical because we don't have that much time. You know, we're not tour pros. We can't hit balls every day, all day long. So the time that we do hit balls on the range, we want it to be productive. So. I'm a big fan of you know getting that good feedback so that you know when we do take lessons we have a nice way of practicing in between so we can get better. And that's my last question. When you when you teach a guy like Zach Johnson, you show him something, he gets it fairly quickly. When you're teaching a, a regular golfer, um, it takes more time. Uh, how do you get your uh, your students to master? Because when they're on the driving range, there's not that much pressure. Right. There's more balls. They they eventually get it. How do you get them to go from the driving range and succeed on the golf course? Well, it's funny you ask because I just came out with a new book called Golf's Eight Second Secret, and it's all about how to transfer the, the the training or the range play to the golf course. And it really has to do with your routine and, and and what you do, your steps leading into the shot. And we did a lot of research on some of the top players and what that have won the most major championships and how they've been able to handle pressure. And there's some things in there that are that are applicable to any level of golfer. So if I, there's kind of a regret I had, I should have been teaching this first off. But uh, but really, it deals with having a really good routine and uh, and, and some of the things. So uh, not not to have a plug for the book, but it'd be a good thing to read if you want to get better at that transfer. Well, what I see, I think it's a great idea because we can't all have tour player swings, exactly. but we can have tour player preparation, right? That's exactly right. And how they lead into every shot, anybody can do that. And if you do it more effectively, you're going to get a better result no matter what your handicap. Thanks for your time, Mike. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.